anyway, where do we where do we go from here right now? What's what's next on the on the docket? Who who do we talk about now? Or well, what are we I got about I got now? I got a question for you guys. I'd like Shoot to know away. what you think about Francis and Ganu, who had agreed to fight in September for the heavyweight title, the UFC, and the UFC wanted him to fight in August, and. He wouldn't do it, so now they're having an interim heavyweight title match between Derek Lewis and Cyril Gane. Well, here's the deal. Every time they get mad, they take the fucking belt away from the champion, you know, and make this interim belt. You know what? Come up with another weight class, a super heavyweight weight class for guys over 265. That way you have your championship and you are allowing heavier guys to compete. No, I, I agree with what you say there, Don, that there should be – there is there is a cutoff that uh, they don't allow – what is it? Is it 286 pounds or, or is it 200 – or what is it? I don't it? know. 86 what, what's, or – What's the cap on headweight? 85 or 65, I don't know. I think it's yeah. 65. Well, maybe 85 because I remember Brock Lesnar was having trouble making the weight, you know? I mean, they, yeah. they ought to have a super heavyweight class. I mean, no, the and, athletes. And I, totally, I, I totally agree. I think there should be a super heavyweight class. There's the athletes. Is, there's good athletes at that weight now, you know? Yes. But you've got, to me, Francis Nagano was supposed to be, he, the original fight was in, was it September? Correct. Brandon? Yes, in September. And they wanted to fight when? In August. Then they, then they tried to move up in August. I mean, to me, it's like, he might have already had his schedule. To, to me, it's like going, you know, if I'm trying to plan for something and it's already in my planner, you know, he, he might have other commitments that he can't move at this point in time or it might, uh, you know, it might shorten his training camp or something like that. So I can actually understand why Francis Nagano doesn't want to do, did not want to do the August date. He basically com- committed to them for the September date. Well, there, there's, conflicting, to, there's conflicting stories. The UFC is saying they... They gave him enough time, and of course they're saying the opposite. Of course they're going to say that. But the thing is, um, but do you you think come up? They should come up with the money. If if like Dan says, he's got something scheduled. Maybe he's got the movie scheduled. You know, pay him. You know, they should add to that to that prize money. His one hundred fifty thousand or two hundred thousand or whatever. You know, um, uh, movie money plus. residual money that he would have made and uh, you know pay him and that way you can get your fight otherwise make another fucking weight class i mean that's obviously what is what you're mad about is that you don't have enough fucking champions god so you don't think they should have made this interim heavyweight title match no 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 every time they get mad they they make an interim title you know that they they freeze the champion. They make an interim champion, and then they get two fights out of it. They have the interim heavyweight, the interim championship fight, and then uh, then they have the interim fight the champ, the real champ. You know, Let's make another weight class or make three more weight classes. God dang! And Francis Ngannou is in a pretty big movie coming out here soon. It's uh, Fast and Furious. I believe it's the ninth one. Really. Yeah, good for him. I, I know wow. that. I, I don't even know who his agent is because those idiots I had as my agents when I was fighting never got me any movies. Next, well, next topic. On, th- on that note, <laughs> I I had nothing to say. I, I have not been in any, any big time movies like you there, Mister Fry. So you've you've dealt. You've been in the, the Tokyo there. Uh, doing battle with, uh, you know, Godzilla. Godzilla so I mean, I... Yes. Yeah, and then I killed Johnny Depp in um, Public Enemies, and I didn't work for 15 years now. <laughs> wow. Until, yeah. Wow. You got to be careful who you kill in Hollywood. Yeah, that's okay. I'll make, I'll make a note of that. Yes. Okay. Go ahead there, uh, Brandon. What do you have next? So next we're going to talk about Joe Schilling. 37-year-old professional Muay Thai kickboxer, competed in Bellator kickboxing and Bellator MMA as a middleweight, and he just recently knocked some guy out in a bar. Um, There's a video 
floating all over the internet about it. Have you guys seen it? Yeah, I'm watching it right now. It's a hell of a video, you know. Um, should we should we should we play this right now so that others can see this, or or will, will we give them too much viewership? Or I'm not sure <laughs> what we're looking at right now. But uh, you know, this guy's a drunk. Uh, apparently, he's he um, has been doing this to everybody for. For months or a year, I don't know, but uh, he mouthed off to the wrong guy. He was mouthing off all night long, from what they say, and uh, he he bumped into Joe, and uh, then Joe tried walking away, and he mouthed off, and Joe was heading off. Joe claims that he only hit him out of self defense, and he said, "quote unquote," I was scared for my life. Yes. Well, I would be too, because any you know it, the guy obviously knew who he was, and uh, anybody who's willing to take on a, a professional prize fighter, you're either batshit crazy or you're carrying something, you know. So yeah, you got to be scared. I, I I will agree with what Don said in the sense that uh, when you go into a bar setting anymore, you just don't know. You uh, the days where there was. Any real honor of fighting. It had Don and I had a disagreement. We would have stepped outside, thumped each other, would have went back in and had a beer, and bygones would have been bygones. But that right. time era is long gone. Those we live in chips. a world now that uh, you've got cell phones everywhere. Um, people live in a very sue happy society. They're looking for. An easy you know, buck, the chicken chip it, bastards. Exactly. They start they a fight. An easy they trade, start a know, fight. They get their ass back, kicked, back and then they sue you. Yeah. So again, yeah, I'm just look. We're just looking at a videotape. You know, you hate to see a a professional have to to use his skills like that, but I mean, his his skills were sharp and they're right on on, on point. You know. And sometimes, yeah, sometimes you you strike without thinking because there's just a instinctual it's reflex. A it's a reaction. I mean, yeah. you train that way. I, yeah. I, I get that. So, I guess you understand that. Me, me not being a striker, no, I, I, don't, I don't quite understand that, but I would have shot it for a takedown. How's that? Or I would have yeah. suplexed them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we know that one. Yes. <laughs> ask, so, ask, oh, what's his name? Jeez. Well, the guy that, yeah. he, that he knocked out, his name is Justin Balboa, and he's planning on pressing battery charges and also plans on filing a civil lawsuit because of the head injury and facial wounds. Well, you know what? They, they, the head injury probably saved his life. I don't think he has a, he had a head injury to begin with because anybody who uh, picks on a professional prize fighter is fucking goofy. You know, there's something wrong with you. That's a, that's a tough, tough act to follow back up there, uh, Brandon. I, I think we'll, we'll let lie there with uh, with the double D's comment there from Mr. Fry himself. If I was Joe Schilling, I'd sue the I'd sue the bar for letting this crazy bastard back in. Apparently, he's been doing it for a long time. You know? Yeah. That, okay, that is true. That that is one thing that that uh, we were told earlier that he actually had a uh, kind of a track record of doing this. So right. I, I think the the bars were probably at fault there for allowing. Do you need that kind of clientele? That bad right. I mean, to me that something like that should be just banned from the bar. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, again, correct me if I'm wrong about this, but wasn't Tank Ab- Abbott also banned from quite a few different bars because of his, you know, being getting drunk and then uh, causing fist fights and stuff like that? I, I don't know, but I guess so. He, well, he, he yeah, wore, no, a short, again, wore a shirt that said 86 for life, so, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I, I, I just, yeah. I just know that uh, from speaking with, with John McCarthy in the past, that uh, I actually brought that up to uh, John McCarthy because he, you know, that, take used to make the comment that you could take all the other MMA fighters' uh, rap sheets and, and and add it up, and it wouldn't it wouldn't add up to his. And then and I guess uh, Big John McCarthy did uh, look into his background, and he did have so quite a bit of uh, uh, getting the. Uh, uh, drunk and uh, you know causing trouble and, and basically get into fist fights. So he he was banned at, at a lot. But uh, yeah, but did I think he, he fight said, real men or did he fight yuppies who should have went home? You know after happy hour. Well, I wasn't there, so I, I right. could tell. I could tell you. Right. How tough the guys did he fight? Right. Well, okay. 
So anyway, we, we kind of sub summarized it that uh, Justin there probably should uh, he, he picked the wrong night there to go in there and pick up people. Right. What do we have next, sir, Brandon? Well, that's all our topics for for this segment. Well, then, okay. What else, sir, Don? What, what else can uh, – what what have you been up to the last few days that I haven't I haven't had a chance to speak to? Maybe maybe some people give uh, two shits about that. What about you and, and myself? What we, what we've been doing? I mean, Fourth of July fireworks. What'd you do for Fourth of July? How's that? Uh, today's Fourth of July, isn't it, Dan? Okay, but Saturday night. Okay, all right. Correct, Mister Fry. Correct. They didn't. Today is the fourth. They Today's didn't Fourth have. Of July, they didn't have but, fireworks uh, last night like uh, they did at your private island, you know. <laughs> but but they did last night. Yeah, that's the same. Not here, but they did at your private island. Oh. Yes, not everybody okay. can afford their own private island, and uh, not well, everybody can afford me, for not, their not, fireworks. It, it, it wasn't be putting on the fireworks display, otherwise it would have been a sparkler. And yeah, a, <laughs> a couple of drops of gasoline. <laughs> No, so, well, yes, not at five dollars a gallon. No. Probably, probably missed that well, one. Yeah, well, <laughs> unless you're out there siphoning, you know, fuel from somebody else's vehicle, <laughs> somebody, somebody else's boats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. But no, it was uh last night. They they did celebrate here on the uh, on uh, in Howe, Michigan. They had it right here, just probably a hundred yards uh, off of. Uh, my property and it was it was great just to be watch i recorded a little bit of it hopefully i'll be sending it off to uh, tony a little bit later today and he can actually put them up on there to let people realize this is what uh i was watching from the comfort of my hammock yes and what a hammock it is too it's gonna be uh, a double it's triple heavy, strength heavy duty yes. heavy duty right <laughs> you, you got that uh uh Wire, that thick uh, one-inch wire, cable wire. <laughs> yep, help me, my, my chips, my chip dip, and, and my beverage. Wow. Of course, of course. Watching the 4th of July fireworks in style. But yes, you are totally correct. Today is officially Sunday, the 4th of July. Yes. Independence Day. Independence Day, which people forget because everybody calls it Fourth of July, but it's actually Independence Day. Yes. Well, because everything is equated with the holiday and it's all parties and stuff like that, so they don't really understand the meaning of what is Independence Day, much like they don't understand what is uh, Memorial Day, uh, you know, Christmas, and it's all like Happy Holidays now that they're trying to get away with to try to change things, right. change things, change things, and change things. Well, you know, you can watch. Uh... Fox News, uh, Jesse Waters will go around and interview college students, and they don't know what the hell uh, Independence Day is or who we got our independence from as a nation. They don't even know what year, you know, it began, and we declared it. You know, we... Do you want to educate? Would you, would you like to put on your... your My professor hat? hat? Would you like to kind of... Regale us a little bit there. I, mean, yeah, we, I, think we, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't have a flute to play there for you or a drums to beat. But uh, you want to, you want to regale a little bit there yeah, and a, educate the folks there. As a nation, we declared independence from the nation of uh, Great Britain, and which uh, England and Ireland and Wales and uh, Scotland. You know, uh, they're part of Great Britain, even though. They they may not like it, you know. <laughs> um, so we declared it from England and Great Britain, and um, we declared it in 1776, and we didn't win it. We didn't win it as a eight eight or nine year war, you know. So it, it went on uh, for quite the time, and hell, we almost lost it on several occasions. And uh, when we did win. Uh, you know, everybody thought George Washington was the greatest thing since sliced bread, which they didn't have at the time. And, um, you know, they wanted him to be... Sliced slice bread? Yes. Is that what you're talking about? Yes. Okay, all right. So they, sure that... they wanted him to be king, and he said, no, we just left a monarch. Why are we going to start another monarch? And uh, so he 
He stayed there for two terms, and they wanted him for a third, and he said, no, I'm going home. I've had enough. You know, I want to go back to farming. And he did. And uh, everybody's saying, well, he was a slave. Or he married into it. He didn't, he, didn't, or he didn't come in with the slaves. He married into uh, a rich lady who had slaves. And uh, then when he passed away, he freed his slaves also. And so did uh, General Robert E. Lee. You know, he freed his slaves when he died, you know. Well, there you go. There, Mr. Fry. These are things I don't think you. you, you do you find this all in, in the uh, history books, or is this something that you? It was on the back of a milk curtain when I was having breakfast. You know, my cereal. Oh, okay. Actually. All right. Sir. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think Captain Crunch had that kind of stuff there. Huh? Yeah, in fact, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. It was exciting. Well, that was good. That, but that actually was pretty good there, Mr. Fry. I, I'm actually rather pressed right there. Yeah, we didn't, we wow. didn't originate. We didn't originate slavery. We ended it. We've ended yeah. it. Well, actually, what well, I'm going to simply go into is that anybody other than Native Americans should be should be pissed off about all the people that have come to their their country. I mean, we're all foreigners if you want to look at it. I mean, it's so. The Native American was the only people that were truly here in the first place. So yeah, but every every nation on the uh, on the in the planet was uh, migrated into. So it's not yeah. like you know, come no. on. No, I, I get it. I mean, we it's just uh, not like we're I the only we're... one. Not like we're the only ones who came into a piece of land and took it over. Okay, and yeah. the, and the Native Americans they had slavery. And they continue to have slavery um, for uh, over a hundred years into the United States. You know, they kept taking, they kept taking, uh, they kept fighting and taking slaves of of their opponents. Yeah, exactly. What uh, other other tribes and stuff like that? So yeah, tribes and white and white people. You know, a bunch of whiteies were taken to slaves. Yep. All right. Okay. Moving on. Right, uh, Brandon, what, what do we have next there? Brandon or Tony, do, what, what do we have? Uh, another yeah, question or something that pop up uh, was, just with, through this conversation so far? I was going to see if maybe you guys wanted to, since you're from Sun Devil country there, since you guys went to ASU, maybe you wanted to give a shout out to the Phoenix Suns on their third appearance coming up here in the NBA Finals. Shit. Yeah, good luck, guys. <laughs> <laughs> who, who, are they, who are they playing? The Milwaukee Bucks. Milwaukee Bucks. Well, how are, I mean, how are they favored? Or, or I should say, who's favored? I believe the Suns are favored due to some injuries. Oh, no. Okay, oh, so no. Phoenix Suns Phoenix Suns versus the Milwaukee Bucks. When does this uh, series get underway? Tuesday, I believe. Tuesday, all right. Well, again, it's uh, sure. I'd like to see uh, Arizona get. Uh, you know, I mean, I've got uh, what I call two homes. I live between uh, Arizona, and Michigan. Born, and raised Michigan. I lived for a decade of my life out in Arizona, and I still go back there quite uh, a bit, especially like come this fall Did when it starts eat? getting a little too chilly. I shall be scampering. Go back yeah, to Arizona. Just, you go back to Arizona and do your laundry, <laughs> right? Got to got to wash all my Hawaiian shirts by then. Yeah. yeah. 